orbiting a man on the moon by orbiting the moon at low altitude. On July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 launched from Pad 39A, sending the first crew to land on the moon. Two, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins crewed the Apollo 11 mission. Houston, Apollo 11 is calling you on the high gain. How do you read, Owen? Roger, loud and clear on the high gain. Eagle, you're looking great. Coming up nine minutes. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. Their lunar module, the Eagle, landed on the surface of the moon on July 20th, 1969, winning the race for space. 30 feet, two and a half down, straight shadow, four forward, four forward, drift into the right level, down and a half, 30 seconds forward, just, Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin photographed the moon's terrain, collected rock and soil samples, and transmitted TV pictures to over 25 million viewers in the U.S. and around the world. They returned safely to the Earth three days later to worldwide acclaim and celebrations that demonstrated the importance of this achievement, not only to our country, but also to much of the rest of the world. The spirit of Apollo transcends geographical barriers and political differences. It can bring the people of the world together in peace. The Apollo program achieved six successful lunar landings and fulfilled all of the requirements needed to undertake future space exploration. Since Apollo, the first space stations, the U.S. Skylab, and the Soviet Soyuz and Mir vehicles have proven the value of working in space. Astronauts from 16 countries can now live and work in space continuously. Over the past 35 years, our achievements in space have included more than 100 space shuttle flights. These include missions to the International Space Station and Hubble Space Telescope. The development of two new rockets for the Air Force, the Delta IV and Atlas V, have become operational and could be man-rated for future missions. What does space exploration mean for you? Well, space exploration has brought us satellite radio, pacemakers, GPS navigation, weather radar, faster and cheaper computers, HD television, MP3 players, iPhones, and even the internet. It's made us more aware of our planet Earth 
and concerns such as global warming, fires, shortages of food and water. Maybe most importantly, space exploration excites people just like you. It inspires us to dream, study, and reach out to become a part of something bigger than ourselves. The next space pioneers are in our schools and factories now, already making a difference in our lives. They're preparing to return to the moon and beyond. What we do next will define our generation's legacy not only for our world, but also for future worlds wherever space travel leads us. Now is the time to find your place in this bold new adventure. Houston, we are go for launch. <laughs>